Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to another vlog. So another fresh day, a little sore throat and a little feverish kind of a uh, you know climate today. But uh, Alhamdulillah, good to go. We are off to Al Ula. So from Duba, we're going to Al Ula right now. Just uh, packing our bags and just you know arranging our bags in the van. Uh, but I've got a little surprise for you all. <coughs> Guess what? We've all worn the same dress. One and two. And other two is still coming. I'll show you. So here is the third and here is the fourth. We have a four hour drive to Alula from Duba and from there we go back to home. Hi. So we have reached the winter park at Alula. So this is the first step. Here is where you buy tickets. You are being guided to do whatever you want. So firstly when you come to Alula, you have to come here. This is winter park. Write it down winter park. If you search in Google Maps, you will get it. And you come here, they will tell you, they will guide you. They will tell you the charges. You can buy the tickets here and then proceed forward. So we have reached the Elephant Cave. So this is the only place where there is no tickets. Alula is packed literally, literally packed. So inshallah next time. But now I'm going to take you for a tour of Elephant Cave. So this is the parking. We are heading towards Elephant Cave. So these are our guys, the swagmans. Welcome to Elephant Rock. Welcome to Elephant Rock. It's quite windy out here. So when you're entering, you have this big board which says parking zone welcome reception Ele elephant rock cafe and toilets so look at this subhanallah this is elephant rock and al -Ula. and this is where we enter from the parking just look at this it's pretty windy and stormy today this is the elephant rock you see, they've made uh, places to sit everywhere and there is salt here and yeah, it's kind of restaurants. Now just look at this, subhanAllah. La ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah, ma lana rabbun siwa. I had been here four years ago. It was nothing, it was zero. It was just few rocks here. But today, there is so much changes. How are you feeling on your Alula experience? So good. So most of them have this misunderstanding that these are man-built rocks, but no. These are formed naturally because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the mighty, the glorious. So not built by man. If you go to Hegra, you will find actually where uh, the uh, you know civilization of uh, Sahle alayhi salam existed, and there came the Adab. People think it is a cursed place, but it is not cursed. It is a place where the Adab of Allah subhanahu wa taala came, and you should not come and enjoy here. Not this place actually, the place which is called as Hegra, which is 40 minutes drive from the Alula city. There is nothing much to see except for these beautiful big rocks subhanallah we need to you know uh, thank allah that we are able to see this alhamdulillah you know the formation of these rocks proves the strength the power of allah azza wa jal just look at this al ula it is it is surrounded with these kind of mountains everywhere subhanallah look what's happening look what's happening they are throwing stones on my bro You know, this happens in the hot season, right? People throw stones on shaitan. <laughs> so we are heading back to Hail now. We couldn't do much on this trip to Al Ula. Only elephant rock. And I told you the reason why. So let's finish this here. Uh, inshallah, see you soon with another vlog. Till then, Masalama.